Okay, I'm working on this server room unit. <clears throat> and this is like an off-brand lever. And I hate to say it, but a lot of things about this unit are just kind of janky. I won't go through the whole list, but it's been a lot of stuff. So it went out on a low pressure alarm last night, which is the first night that it got really cold because we kind of been in a heat wave. And I'm looking at the hot gas bypass. So I've got a million blue wires here. And for some reason I've got water dripping. Huh. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Okay. That has not happened before. Anyways, I've got a million blue wires here and they go up behind the cabinet and then into here. I've showed this before, but I'm gonna use this wire tracer. Now this is great for finding, like say you're on an indoor unit and you've got a bunch of units up on the uh, roof of an apartment complex or something like that, this is great. For that you just hook into Y and common and send the signal up to the roof and then you can find the outdoor unit but I'm going to show it here on how to find where some wires from a sensor or something else are going so let me get this set up I've got to get this blower motor panel off so I can see where that water is coming from but um, I really like this Klein stackable socket set and if you want to use it in tight quarters like I need to right now, this is a great way to do it. Just take your Malco bit and stick it right in there. You can't really do it one-handed, but get it in there, and then you can use it with one of these uh, little ratcheting wrenches. keep fighting this door it just keeps wanting to swing back on me one of the things that I really like about this Klein uh, fully adjustable screwdriver you can pretty much just change the length is it makes a great little um, prop <laughs> okay problem solved <laughs> until it slips out of there that is <laughs> it'll work fine for now so I've got some space to work now get in here and look at everything and I'm noticing a lot of water running down this humidifier line so I'm not sure what's going on there but I got to figure that out I think I'm gonna try to put some water in that line to see how it's leaking down so I'm gonna put that on that and then this is a pretty tight fit so I've got an angle cut on that and I'm just gonna shove it in there got my little contraption rigged up here so I'm just gonna put some water in that steam tube look at that you see that how pathetic is that <laughs> a braze joint that is leaking water without even being under pressure Wow I can't get that in focus very well but you can see it's leaking out the back right there. Unbelievable. Well, since I gotta get the torch out, might as well just film some stuff. Okay, I got the insulation pushed down really far in a tubing cutter, just barely cinched on there. It just doesn't take much, you just barely tighten. Will do a great job holding that insulation down. Uh, I got this collapsible dog bowl. <laughs> I keep this on a carabiner back here with my striker. And this thing works really great for uh, getting wet rags. So let me put some water in this and then throw a rag in there. I have my rag down here to help keep the insulation cool. And I keep these pieces of sheet metal, one longer one and one shorter one. And I'll typically arrange those if I can, I, I just, I, I don't like burning up cabinets and stuff. It just really bothers my OCD. So 
these work as great heat shields. The only thing you have to keep in mind is that if there's wires behind them, you need to put a wet rag back there because this metal will get hot enough to melt the wire insulation, even though it does a great job blocking the flame. I'm gonna use this rosebud. I use this on everything, even smaller lines. You just have, you know, you just have to be a little better at controlling the heat on smaller lines. But on bigger lines, it is absolutely the way to go. The main thing that causes leaks with brazing is not getting the joints hot enough. And if you haven't tried a rosebud, you really need to. All it is is like a uh, cutting torch type head without the oxygen. Also, to you young guys, wear some sunglasses when you're brazing, if not brazing glasses, because you don't want to be looking at this for years and not protecting your eyes. Yeah, it's not the same as welding, but it's still not something you want to sit there and look at for years. All right. Well, I made the mistake of not cleaning this thing first, and it just, for some reason, there's some contaminant back in here where the braze just does not want to flow. So I wire brushed it with that. It, it doesn't look shiny clean like the sandpaper, but it is clean of scale and all of that. And then I applied some flux to it. And I, I've seen this before, it's pretty rare, but I, you know, there's some kind of contaminant or something on the pipe that just stops that braze from flowing. And the key is to really clean it good and then use this flux here. This makes a lot of difference. Normally, Silfos is self-fluxing on uh, copper, not brass. Even with brass, you wanna use this as well. But what this will do on copper is just really help out the phosphorus in that whole fluxing um, process that has to take place. That is really hard to get in focus, but I wiped the flux off so I can show you. You can see kind of where the flux is hanging out. That's a gap right there at the seam. So I'm gonna put some flux on there and we're gonna heat that and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, you can see that that braze, whew, it's hard to get in focus, but that braze has flowed around there very nicely. So that should be sealed. Okay, where were we? <laughs> uh, lots of distractions anyways. I got the wires off the hot gas bypass and I've got my signal generator hooked up. You can see the tone it's sending out. This is just gonna be a really high impedance AC wave. It may be square, sine, it really doesn't matter. It's just high impedance AC, also low voltage. But what you wanna do is get your probe adjusted so you can hear it. Hang on. Okay. So now that's what the tone sounds like. And I'm gonna go through here. I assume it's off well. Okay, so it's actually going down into here. Okay. See quieter, loudest. So that's them right there. All right. That's what we needed to know.